Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all in good health and um, you are staying safe indoors. Um, in this uh, really uncertain time, uh, that's the least we can do to help lessen the load on our healthcare workers and also make sure that we are safe. Um, it's better to avoid the risk of getting infected with the coronavirus um, and taking precautions rather than being overconfident and thinking that um, just because we don't know anyone who has traveled or uh, we don't know any positive cases, we cannot get infected and that we are safe and continuing to go out um, to crowded places, etc. So it's better that we stay home and focus on indoor activities. Um, I think I'm a pretty experienced <laughs> homebody because I like staying at home, as you can tell by the title of my channel. And I like to do a lot of activities uh, indoors. Um, times like this, um, that's when I realize how fortunate I am that I have a home where I can be and um, I'm also fortunate not to be an outdoorsy person. <laughs> I don't get upset if I have to stay at home. Um, I love being indoors. I love being uh, alone at home um, with my husband, of course. But um, I guess this is the best time to stay indoors and make the best of a worst situation. So with that said, I'd like to show you my new subscription box. This is the Let's Make Art subscription box. Um, this is a monthly subscription box um, and you can uh, buy it online. I think this one is about, um, this is the Let's Make Art watercolor subscription box. Um, this is about $35 and you pay for it um, each month. I just signed up for this in like the first week of March. Um, I paid for it and uh, got it shipped so in March so this box usually ships out about the 18th of each month um, I got this a little late because of all the shipping delays but I'm not complaining I just wanted you to know that if you do subscribe to this um, it may be a little late and shipping may be delayed um, this is not a sponsored video or uh, I don't get uh, paid by this company or anything like that just wanted to put it out there this is actually the back of the box um, I'm just going to flip it over uh, and this is what it looks like. I really like the cover. I think you can use this cover to um, keep the supplies and also paint with some of the supplies. So that's what it looks like. Let me see if I can get it to stay flat. You get four uh, projects each month and um, each of them are individually packed you get um let me show you this i think is the april box so everything is like um spring or easter themed wow i love that it looks really great i actually uh, bought this box just because of the carrots and because of these boots they're like you know really beautiful works of art i just couldn't resist so I'll just show you one by one. Um, so this um, subscription box has a lot of uh, tutorials online and it's uh, by a watercolor artist called Sarah Cray. Um, she does the watercolor tutorials. You can find them from their YouTube channel, which is Let's Make Art. And um, they have a good social media presence. So they're also there on Facebook. They have a Let's Make Art watercolor Facebook, Facebook group where you can uh, participate in the community um, that also buys the subscription box um, a lot of it's free to join so a lot of um, what do you say um, artists hang out and the not so artistic people like myself also hang out um, they share a lot of good watercolor tips and uh, tutorials and um, personal art which is not related to the subscription box in any way so that's really good. Um, you get four projects and they give you two watercolor papers for each project. Um, I think they give you the Canson brand of watercolor paper. Um, this is a little bit bigger than the letter size, so it's a pretty good size. Um, and 
you can also see that they recommend the brush sizes, the, um, they have the URL of the free tutorial, and then they also tell you what paint to use. You can obviously use, um, you know, colors in a different way if you want, um, especially for things like um, these eggs and stuff, you can pick your own colors if you want. But the colors that come in the box are really good quality and artistic uh, level. So that's, I mean, artist level, so that's pretty good. Um, it's good value for money so they send you like a small postcard of what it is supposed to look like as well as a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do the project i'm not going to open these because i'm not going to start working on them right now um so i'll just show you one by one so this one is the duck um this one is a set of like easter eggs speckled eggs is the name of the tutorial so that's also nice it looks fun um these are the cowboy boots tutorials tutorial and this is the multicolor carrots tutorial so that's pretty good um this is another thing that I really like and this is why I actually subscribe to the box this is called the let's make art matter postcard so they have a little story about someone um, so in this case it is Loretta and um, so we're going to send some uh, you know um, postcards to Loretta's family um, you have a place on the website where you can request postcards so if you know someone who needs some cheering up or someone who uh, has made a good impact in your community and you want to thank them um, you can suggest their name uh, to this website and then they'll put you on the list uh, to be published like this so this is the let's make art matter postcard so they send you a postcard with her address there so you can and it's also, also like they have the stamp on there and they have um, you know the blank postcard where you can paint whatever you like uh, most people do like smaller versions of the tutorials um, on the back side and you can write a little note so that's really nice to have um, they also provide the tracing I mean the graphite paper for the projects inside this pack so that it doesn't get lost so that's a good uh, thing to note um, and some of these uh, projects come with the outline like this one and you need to trace it using the graphite paper onto your watercolor paper um, and some things are like a very loose and freehand so you don't need to do that you can just start painting directly i also ordered a few extra things along with this uh, box since uh, shipping is free above 35 dollars so I got this, um, th this is like their um, palette and um, brush kit. So this comes with two Princeton brushes, the Princeton Heritage Red series. This is the number six round brush and this is the number two round brush. Um, this palette is perfect to use with um, the liquid watercolor paints that usually come with this box. Um, in some boxes, they also give you like the watercolor um, palette with the um, actual like the dry watercolors. So that's also a thing to note. So this is a butcher tray palette. It's made of enamel and it's a pretty good size. It's seven by ten and a half inch. And it's just plain white. It's good to use for mixing paint so that came with the box along with the uh, brushes i also ordered this which is a pocket color wheel it's in english it's good to know <laughs> and um this is good for mixing colors and finding out like what complementary colors are there um and you know to find like an overall color scheme so you can see that um if you add red more red it will change color to a darker orange so if you add yellow i mean uh, if you add more yellow to a yellow orange this is the color you get 
uh, if you add blue to a yellow you get green so it's good to know um, and sometimes you know in the middle of a painting I can't think <laughs> and figure out what colors mixed give what so this is really handy um, I like using uh, uh, you know things that make my life easier and a bit faster so this is good to have and now i move on to the final part of the box let me see i'm just gonna flip it okay so this is like the top part i think i opened it in reverse this is the welcome note so it says welcome to april love the design of all this so they you can choose to do like a project a week um and uh, these are the instructions so uh, the, like just general instructions um so it says this one is for the wet on wet technique this is a wet on dry technique um this one is like the uh, painting animals so this has a lot uses a lot of the white on the paper and then adds shadows and darker values and then the last one is the boots so you this is like a fun project uh, which is really loose and you can choose what you want it to look like um, etc this also says what all you have included in the box so you have the graphite paper it tells you how to use the graphite paper there's a let's make art postcard and then there's a link to their youtube channel so i'll leave a link to it in the description box below uh anyway so that you can find it um so this i like this little box it says the good stuff and there's a i'm just gonna pull it out like this the good stuff it's baked <laughs> that's really nice so you have five colors oh and they also give me a pigma micron pen that's really nice um, and most often there's like enough paint in the box to do more than one projects and since you have two watercolor papers per project you can um, do a trial run the first time and obviously the second time might be a little better so you have a second sheet um, I've also seen people um, cut their sheets in half and do a smaller version of each project. So that's also an idea. So this one is the burnt orange paint from the Dandelion Paint Company. So that's one. This is a lovely purplish color amethyst. Oops, okay. Let me try to hold it in my hand so that it focuses. The burnt orange, the amethyst. This one is the Tahoe blue. This one is a deep yellow. And this is a fuchsia. I hope I'm saying that correctly, <laughs> but you get five paints so I don't know when I will get to using all these uh, paints I had bought it before I started uh, actually working on the masks for healthcare workers I like the lid it says spoiler alert you're good at this <laughs> so I'm still continuing to work on the masks let me know in a comment down below if you want me to um, share more about my mask making process and um, to show you how I'm trying to save time using an, as an assembly line style of work so let me know in the comments down below uh, if you would like to see a video about that I can post uh, more vlogs about my mask making process and i also hope to share uh, an unboxing video about my uh, new juki sewing machine uh, once i get it so you can watch out for that as well so that's all i had for today uh, i'll see you in my next video until then take care of yourselves and uh, stay occupied so that you don't feel anxious or uh, depressed because of this current situation 
uh, let me know if you want more videos from me about any topic and um, if you want me to share more ideas for things you can do when you're stuck at home um, you know without a lot of supplies or without uh, anything to do and you're getting bored with watching Netflix and Amazon Prime <laughs> let me know I'll uh, try to post some videos about that as well so I'll see you in my next video until then take care bye bye